大家好，我叫 Frank， 很高兴能够邀请到我们的 Bristol l a v e n d e r Farm 的主人，呃、uh, ，Mr. Robert Ravens 到这里给他做一个专访。然后作为中国的总代理商，那我今天很有幸，呃，能能能让他给大家做一些关于这个农场高品质薰衣草的一些介绍。我现在会问 Mr. Ravens 一些问题，然后他会给大家做一一的介绍。OK， Mr. Ravens， good to see you today。Can you just give me some brief introduction of your farm today? Thank you, Frank. Uh, you're sitting now in northeastern Tasmania, and you're enjoying marvelous sunshine. Yes, and you're looking sunshine. at Bridstow Estate in the background. It's the most significant collection of fine lavender plants in the world. Yes, and uh, as you told us, there are 39 kinds of lavendula in the world. Yeah, there are 39, 39 different types of uh, lavender in the lavendula uh, genus. And this one is Lavandula angustifolia, called true French lavender, okay. but this is a very special collection of plants from that species. So that's called Lavandula angustifolia. angustifolia. Yes. That's the, that's the very good one. That is the, the only plant within the lavender genus that has genuine therapeutic qualities. And can you please tell me uh, some, some products that you are making here? Well, the most famous product, of course, is our lavender oil. The, the lavender oil is exquisite in its aroma and its purity um, is regarded so highly around the world. But of course, uh, in more recent times, we've become equally famous for a remarkable little bear called Bobby. Um, Bobby is absolutely unique uh, and an original product from Bridstow Estate. Now, Bobby contains dried flowers from our beautiful fields out here. And can you please um, and tell me what makes your farm so different in quality? It's the refinement of the plants that grow here. They've been selected so carefully over 92 years that it is now the finest collection of lavender plants in the world. Uh, those plants grow harmoniously, they, they've been very adapted to the beautiful climate here, and they produce a very exquisite smelling oil which can't be matched anywhere in the world. Yes, I think one, that's one of the reasons why people say your brand is so prestigious. Yes, it's, we, we say it's the, the, the world's finest lavender and we genuinely believe that and we can demonstrate that and prove that and it just can't be matched elsewhere. Yes, that's right, we firmly believe that as well. You know, at the moment on the market there are lots of fake hobbies. Oh, look, fakes are always going to occur. Success, uh, they say, we say in, 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 in English, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery and uh, yeah, right. we are being imitated by so many producers, uh, particularly in China. Now that is unfortunate. Um, it's, it's, it's unfortunate because they look alike, but they don't smell alike. They're all fakes, and those fakes are absolutely demonstrably poor in quality. You know, at this stage, we can see lots of different kinds of beers in the market. Different brand, yes. some are fakes, most of them are fakes. Well, my, my, my premise is that they're all fakes because the original is sitting on my knee and everything else, copy. everything else is an aspirational copy. Nothing can match the quality of Bridstow Estate because it can't get the fragrance and it can't get the therapeutic benefits from the, the, the filling of the bear. Do you want to speak to something to those who um, make fake beers in China? Anyone that copies our trademark, who steals our ideas, we will prosecute to the full extent of the law. We are doing that now with disreputable producers, both in China and elsewhere, and we will make certain that they cannot continue to masquerade as the Bridgestone product. Yes, we have to pro uh, pro protect the, uh, the trademark. We, are. we have to uh, protect the brand, we yes. have to protect the trademark. We have to make sure nobody copy our products. This is one of the most famous brands in the world in, in the fine oil market and we intend to protect that at all costs. Thanks for your time, Robert. We, we're going to regularly post something like official announcement to the, to the audience in the future to let people know what is real and what is not real. Frank, I appreciate your efforts and frankly, Frankly, that's a play on words. Um, you're doing, an, frankly, you're doing an amazing job. So thank you very much, and uh, thank you for loving our product so much.